Welcome to Blueprint of Faith. My name is Ken Primus. I am your host on this journey into the Word of God, which is also called the Word of Faith. I've been a teacher of the Word for over 30 years. I was a pastor of Abundant Grace Ministries, and now I travel the world teaching the Word of God. According to the Word, without faith, it's impossible to please God. By faith, we understand. The Bible also goes on to say that the just shall live by faith, for we walk by faith and not by sight. By faith we believe that the universe was made. We are justified by faith. Fight the good fight of faith. At this podcast, we're going to talk about what really is faith, how we get it, how do we develop it, how to use it, so that we can receive the 8,810 promises of God, 7,487 of them being promises made by God to His beloved man. Good morning and welcome to my morning rant. This will be my final morning rant for the year 2021. And I want to thank all of you that has been a part of this um, podcast, that you've showed me your support, those who financially show me support. I do thank you so much. And I just wanted to um, bless you guys and um, uh, that you and I look forward to this coming year. 2022 has one that you and I can end our personal journey with God and begin to know who he is at a deeper level. And the Bible tells us that, you know, here, talk about faith, that the just shall live by faith and we walk by faith. And so I challenge all of my listeners and uh, their families to take this a little serious in the sense so that you and I can now go and study and learn about this thing called faith and what it means to us and how we can live by faith daily and part of the kingdom of God. Since you and I have been translated into this kingdom of God and we are citizens of God, I employ each and every one of you, including myself, that uh, the coming year that we we'll spend more time with God, get to know who he is personally through his word, through praying with him, having that communication with him, talking with him, talking to Jesus Christ, asking the Holy Spirit to guide you and to comfort you. Um, so that you and I can take the gifts that God has given to us and start making them real in our life on a daily basis so that when a situation arises that our faith has already been built up so that when the Bible says, ask and it shall be given, that means that that person that is walking in faith, when he or she asks God, they're in faith and God is going to have to respond because he responds to faith. Jesus responded to faith responded to faith. It says that Abraham believed God and God accredited him righteousness. So um, we see that God responds to faith and Jesus, every time he he, he heals someone or someone seeked him out, sought him out to get healed, he would turn around and say, thy faith has made thee whole. Uh, he questioned his disciples, where, are your, where is your faith? How come you have no faith? So we see that this thing, faith, is very important and we ought to begin to become students of it. The Bible says that we should study to show ourselves approved. And so I encourage everyone, study, study the Word of God. Let's look at the Word of God and not trust what these men say. Let's go to the Word for ourselves and look and see what God says. He tells us that His promises are, are yes and amen um, in Him. And so we ought to go look for those promises. And um, in Second Corinthians one uh, twenty, it says, For all the promises of God, God, not just one, not just some, but all the promises of God in him are yes and in him. Amen. To the glory of God through us. So it is our responsibility to go and find those things that speaks to us and our situation. And we are going to put the word into that situation. And the Bible tells us, Jesus makes a statement, he says, sanctify them um, in truth. Thy word is truth. So keep the word of God before you and uh, so that you may become uh, one that walk by faith and that you are going to train yourself with I call addition response. So you're going to train yourself this year, uh, the coming year in 2022. Um, let us train ourselves by the word of God. So when a situation arises, 
we can, from our conditioning, we can respond to the situation. As I, I use the example that when we're driving our car and we are uh, obeying the speed limit, just enjoying some music, and we look up and we see the cops behind us, uh, we immediately uh, hit our brake brakes, no matter what we are doing, because we have this condition response. And it is my hope that this year, 2022, that you and I will program ourselves just like that with the Word of God. The book of Joshua 1 8 says, um, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written it for then you will have your way prosperous and then you will have good success so that is the purpose of us reading the word of god since we are new citizens in this kingdom and new uh, creation we ought to take this bible and look at it in a sense that it is now a venue by which you and i can uh, learn of who we are as this new citizenry um, and in the kingdom of God. And the Bible tells us that we ought to seek to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all the things that we are desiring will be added unto us. Proverbs 4.20 tells us, My son, attend to my words, incline thine ears unto my sayings. 21. Let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. That's 22. 23 says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. That is why we are going to be um, uh, taking the Word of God and the predict in our spirit man and in our soul. Where the Bible says, if we attend to His Word, um, if we uh, listen, okay, because faith comes by hearing. It says once we listen, we keep it before our eyes. Um, and once we keep that in our eyes, again, we're depositing information into the spirit man. It says, uh, keep them in the midst of thine heart, in thy spirit. Uh, so you and I are looking at the Word of God to deposit about healing, deposit about um, our uh, uh, provision, Him providing for us, deposit about all the things that He said that He will provide for us as this new citizen. And as we deposit those things into our spirit man, when the occasion arises, when a situation arises, that you and I can now condition uh, our response to be responding by the, what the Word says. When someone says this, we are conditioned to respond, the Word of God says this, the Word of God says this. So we are now a new citizen, we are in the world, but not of the world, the scripture tells us. So if we are in the world and not of the world, then we ought to uh, get a glimpse of who we are. The Bible tells us we are sons of God. We are to live in the spirit. And as we live in the spirit and from the spirit man, that we will not be able to fulfill the lust of the flesh. And those are the things that we studied a few days ago about how the uh, flesh of man is warring against the soul, warring against um, uh, the spirit. And as a that is in conflict with these things, the Bible tells us what our uh, enemies are, that it's fighting to control our fate. And because once we get our fate together, we can then uh, move mountains, as Jesus said, and those mountains that are in your lives, in your family's lives, in your neighbor's lives, uh, because the Bible says uh, we ought to let our light shine so that people will be attracted to us to come and ask us all these wonderful questions as to what our Father is has done for us. We have the person of the Holy Spirit that is here. I know a lot of people seem to forget that the Holy Spirit is here to help us. Uh, the Bible tells us that He's here to come and help us through everything, um, help us through our, our problems, help us through, uh, teach us how to pray. The um, Bible talks about the gifts of the Spirit. Uh, we ought to get uh, familiar with those things. In 1 Corinthians, um, it tells us uh, that uh, um, 13, 10 to 13 says, But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but 
then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abided faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. And the Bible tells us that as new citizens in this kingdom, that we ought to live, um, walk in love. And so we have to uh, love our enemies, the scripture says, as we learn about the gifts of the Spirit in 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 11. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are different differences of administration, but the, the same Lord. And there are um, diversities of operation, but it is the same God which work it all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man, profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, the other word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of Spirit, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But all these work it one and the same Spirit, guiding to every man severally as he will. So these are the gifts of the Spirit that you and I see use, uh, being used in the, in the church. And it is also there to help us to become a better person in the name of Jesus Christ so that we can get ready for the coming days. And uh, if you guys have uh, listened to me, I talked about in time days as far as God speaks to us in, um, in timelines and ages. And uh, we are in one of the ages now. The Bible tells us that uh, there are several other ages that are to be in. We are currently in the age before the millennium. Uh, so this is the age of where the Antichrist is going to show all those other things are going to be in this particular age. And the Bible tells us if we that we could study the ages, look at the timeline, and we'll know what's going on in society. It talks about the great falling away. It talks about all these other prophecies that are to be fulfilled in, uh, for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I wanted to thank you guys for spending time and, in, and visiting me here at um, Blueprint of Faith. It's been my honor and um, a privilege. And so I pray for each and every one of you that you have a safe uh, new year uh, because uh, there are uh, things out there that are harmful. So I pray that you guys cover yourself with the blood. Uh, we have uh, weapons that we can utilize um, so that we can protect ourselves. Psalms 91, these are scriptures that we can call upon. There's so many other scriptures about God protecting us. So I want to encourage all of you and um, say to you, Happy New Year. And uh, I pronounce the blessing of God and shalom, peace from God and our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that the just shall live by faith and we walk by faith, not by sight. Thank you for coming to Blueprint of Faith. And remember, every child of God overcomes the world. For our faith is the victorious power that triumphs over the world. So be not weary, but imitate them who through faith and patience inherit the promises of God. Again, thank you for coming by. Please subscribe, and if you can, support us financially. We deeply appreciate it. You can do this by hitting the heart button. Until next time, invite your family, friends, neighbors, church, study group, and even people you don't like. You can hear us on Buzzsprout, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Overcast, and many more.